Hey, welcome again to another episode of Granddad's Kitchen. Today we have some Pollock, which sounds like a lot of box to me. Anyway, yeah, we've got some vinegar, white vinegar. We've dropped some um, uh, scotch bonnet in there. That's why I say I don't throw away the seeds. This is what I use it for. Yeah, so it's a bit spicy just on its own vinegar. Yeah, we've got some ordinary corn flour cooking oil in there. We've got our onions, a bit of garlic, a bit of thyme. We've got our multicolored sweet peppers on here. And that's all we're going to use to sweet season this up. We've got our um, fish sauce. Yeah, we've got our fish sauce in here. So I'm just going to pour this all over it. Pour our vinegar on. Our bits and pieces and leave it for about 10 minutes or so to just marinate while I peel the potatoes because I've got a little potato and steam rice, yeah? So, I'm gonna get on with that. Okay, there you are, there's our fish, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna put our lid on it because obviously you can't crush it up because we don't want it all crushed and then we're gonna put it in the fridge and leave it while we do our potatoes. Okay, I'm back again and here we go. Our potato is on here, it's boiling, I've turned the fire right down, so make sure it's going to do it then. Don't cover your pot right over, otherwise it'll just boil over onto your stove. My rice, you can see as it starts to, as you come to the boil, I've whacked my fire down to the minimum. Inside that foil, I've wrapped a piece of the fish, I'm just steaming that through, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that out in a minute, and let it simmer down, and then put it back once the water is drying out 90% or you can't see it boiling as furiously as it is then I'm going to put it back and then just let it steam as the water as the water evaporates from the rice as the rice cooks yeah our vegetables on there you go looking good you can see the steam just coming out that's going to be on for a very short time five minutes yeah and our pan is ready for our fish. So what we're gonna do that, we're gonna let our pan, pan get hot, then we're gonna put our fish in there, and then we just psh, 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 done. Yeah, and then we pour our rest of our things on, and then we just leave it there for a couple of minutes, make it just cool, and we're good to go. Yeah, so, before I go, a couple of things I wanted to say to you. There's our fish, taking it out of the fridge to put the bit in there. Pop to steam. Now, your peppers, yeah? When you get your peppers, as you can see earlier, you cut these bits out, yeah? And you trim that lot out and get rid of it. Cut all the white bits from around the sides. All the peppers are the same thing. Your thyme, that's how I buy my thyme. Fresh thyme, it dries out in time, but you <laughs> get it in time. But don't watch that, just work with it the same way. As you can see when I started with my vinegar, it was a full bottle. That's how much vinegar I use. And I'm going to just use, just cover the bottom of the pan with oil. Yeah. And then at the end of it all, I'll just get a lemon and just squeeze that on top of it. And it should be all good. So, watch this space as they say. Right, our pot's back on and it's warming up. So to that, we're going to add some oil. Don't go crazy with the oil. Okay, can hear it spitting already. Circle it around your pan. Yeah, it don't have to be hot. Then you get your onion, peppers, everything, and you chuck that. Right, there you are, I've put it in, and it's all going on nicely. You can see it's just starting to bubble up there. So we're gonna just lie that, let it do what it's doing. Our potato, it's all going on good. I get a cloth to take that up with, don't want to burn myself. Yeah, take that, that looks good. All we got to do is pierce that with a knife to make sure it's cooked, but it's been long enough that should just melt like butter. Yeah, our rice, there it is with our piece of fish. We've fluffed it up a couple of times. There's our fry fish here, so I've put it on the pot cover, turn the pot cover upside down on the veg which is done so take that off the fire and that will just keep that warm yeah 
there's our um, rice as I said earlier uh, rice it's the lid off of that that's good to go start again here's our vegetables I don't know what the first lot's come out like yeah that's all peppers onion peppers onion garlic a bit of scotch bonnet vinegar and some oil yeah and a bit of thyme don't forget the thyme in this pot here we have some potato cooking away that's ready as well can turn the fire up on that back here we have our rice but what we've done we've wrapped a fish in a foil and steamed it alongside the rice yeah so that should be all good and in here we have our fish that we've fried but because it's finished cooking before everything else we put it on the pot lid turn it upside down and cover it that's where the heat from the pot lid will keep it warm yeah and underneath the pot lid we have our vegetables which is ready to serve now so I'm going to pour that out and start getting ready to dish out and there it is the end result let me get that out of the way make it look a bit nice now this one is mine you can see where the fish has been fried and you know I love my greens me and my brethren and we just gather around for the greens and it's all good yeah my girl now she won her fish steam and she said I'm gonna steam the fish good no I've got no way so there you go her fish will steam tonight eh? look at it look at them vegetables oh my gosh any other she complain I'll just stick it off and fry that blows her skirt yeah all right.